Wow, lyrics born live on KEXP. Such a pleasure to have you here. And it's so impressive how you slide effortlessly between uh, working with a live band. And today you've got Derek, the DJ, here with you. sharp, yes, indeed. You can do anything. (laughs) Well, I'm trying. You know, and that was a very impressive Charlie Tuna. (laughs) I had to do a double take there. You're like, he's not in the house. And then it's like he was. <laughs> yeah, but that, that comes from playing live. I can't always, you know, have all my friends with me all the time. So. Well, that has to be a challenge. On some albums in the past, you have had like a guest artist, like on almost every single song. Right. And uh, Charlie was just one of two guest rappers you had on that's the right. last album. Yeah, that's right. So uh, speaking of the live shows, they're always so much fun and so much full of energy. And you're on your way. You have a show at Modesto tonight. Is that right? Yeah, at the Fat Cat. Yeah, tonight. I've, act- I've actually got shows all weekend. Tonight is Modesto. Tomorrow is Reno. Night after that, I think, is Sebastopol. Yeah, and then we're going off to Australia. So Yeah, next week you're heading to Australia. You, yeah. have, a, you have a huge, you got a great audience there. I've heard you say before how much you love to go to Australia. I do love it, especially this time of year. It's about 90 degrees. You know. Oh, take me with you. Yeah, take yeah. Me with it's, you. it's their summer right now, so. Well, you know, you have a variety of styles. You draw from a ton of influences, and it makes me wonder when you think about putting together a next album, how do you even know where you want to go? I know you like to do something different every time. Yeah. You know, I just go. You know, that's really what I do. I just go, and I, and I really don't think about it until I get almost, you know, maybe two-thirds or three-quarters into the album, and then I start thinking about, okay, how do I want to assemble this, you know? But I think I think for me, you know, just to keep myself challenged and myself inspired, I just, whatever, you know, I feel inclined to do, I just do it, and then I worry about it later, you know? On the last album, you didn't use any music samples. It was all live. Was that a right. challenge to put together an entire album that was free of samples? It was. You know, it was actually, it was at first, but then it actually became easier. You know, I, th- I think that for me, it was, uh, you know, I'd made records with samples for years. And I think that, you know, like I said, I mean, I'm always trying to find new ways to keep myself inspired and, and, and try things differently. And this was just one way, you know. And plus, not only that, I mean, you know, I feel like, If I don't continue to grow, then, you know, the records are going to get boring. I'm going to get bored, you know, and I want to make the albums exciting. So I know you've talked a lot. We've spoken in the past before. You've been live on the air many times, which we appreciate. Mm -hmm. And uh, you talk about how you like to keep yourself inspired. But you're a real inspiration to a lot of people and musicians in particular because you've had a long, very successful career in music. And you really haven't listened to the naysayers. You don't really care what anyone thinks. You know what you wanted and you've gone after it. Um, do a lot of people reach out to you? Do you have a pretty, you know, big fan base of people who feel like that you've inspired them to go on and do things? I think I do, you know, and I think it's great. You know, I mean, I think I think part of it is that, you know, when I was first started out and I first started making music, I had a lot of people that mentored me and, and still do. You know what I mean? Still do. And I think that um, for myself, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have like younger artists and and just younger people that want to break into the business, you know, like I, I'm, I'm always meeting with this person, meeting with that person. They're like, how can I do this? And how can I do that? And, you, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. You know, I think that's all a part of it for me. Well, and you're very connected to your fans. I sort of follow along on your website and your blog, and mm-hmm. you've really embraced the internet technology and the distribution of music in that format. And it seems like you really love the way it connects you directly to your fans. Yeah, no, I do. You know, so yeah, on like for instance on lyricsborn.com, we have, you know, something that we do called LBTV where we air a new webisode every week, you know, and I think that for me it's just I just get, you know, I've, I've been an independent artist my whole life and I just I get tired of relying on the labels and the distributors and the da da da. da you know what I mean? And I, and I just didn't want there to be any filter between um what what I wanted to do and what the fans wanted to hear and, and, and our communication, you know, so I, I've always, ever since, you know, we, we've had the ability to do something like LBTV and we're getting ready also to launch LBFM, you know, it just gives me the opportunity to really have that connection with people uh, in a way that, you know, we couldn't in the conventional industry, you know, like it, as recently as three years ago, we couldn't even do this. So, I love it. I think the internet is definitely, you know, it evens out the playing field. You know, I think that all things are equal on the internet. And so, you know, I don't have to, 
like I said, I mean, I, I've never had the luxury of having like the, you know, the trillion dollar promotional budgets, you know, and so forth and so on. So this really gives me the opportunity to get out there and see what's going on with people. Well, in some ways it can really stretch your budget. Really? Positively, I was thinking, you know, you can do more with less. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought yeah. you meant like me personally, like yeah, it stretches yeah. my butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah. And I can't ever let you get away without finding out what Joyo's up to these days. She, you have the most beautiful wife in the land, oh, and what so a voice sweet. she Thank has. Thank you. And what's going it's on? so with nice you? to see you. Happy yeah. New Year. Thank you. Same to you Thank all. Thank you very much. And what's going on with you? You doing um, some solo work these days? Yes, definitely. I've been playing a lot in the Bay Area um, in promotion for the upcoming record, which is called Love and Understanding. It's finally got a title. Nice. And it looks like it's going to be spring for release, finally, finally. Well, that's right around yeah. the corner mm -hmm. when you get back from sunny Australia. Yes, yeah. ma'am. How about a couple more tunes? Let's go. Lyrics Born live uh -huh. on KEXP.